are inshore. We're doing some freshwater fishing once again, hunting some bass, uh, largemouth bass, peacock bass, and clown knife fish. And uh, today's a beautiful day. Once again, the winds and Mother Nature has not is not working with us and is preventing us from getting offshore. So we're gonna take advantage of this time and focus on bass fishing. I've got a bunch of new soft plastics and different colors and lures to try today. So uh, we'll see how we're gonna do, but let's get started. Yeah guys, so what we're basically doing is we're trying some new areas today because we don't bass fish a lot in our own area. Uh, so we're, we're trying all these docks and looking for peacocks. There's, there's one over there. Darcy's gonna try the jig technique like we did the other day. Catch him up, Sizzle. There's a bed right over there. So we're just hitting these docks. Get a line of them going down this way and uh, see how we do. Peacock bass, but you know what? I'll take it. First fish of the day. Peacock bass. Oh, that was silly of me. I was just messing around trying to get him up, and then I was gonna flip him. But then I decided to pick him up. But he just popped off of this. But I did have a fish. I'm gonna get another one. That was a five Dude, he just jumped a monster bass. I'm not sure if I had the camera on fast enough. Get in the boat. All right, not quite the giant that Brian just hooked like five minutes ago, but uh, we've got like a storm overhead and we're just like hanging out by this bridge and fishing. And if it does rain, we're gonna hide under the bridge. But I uh, figured we fish here and yeah, just caught this little guy on a wacky worm. We're gonna go ahead and release him. And I just caught him. What I was using actually in our last video, the wacky worm, and this is the gamble lures, fat ace, and the lane toad color. So I'm gonna keep at it. Oh God! I'm just losing every fish by the boat. All right, we catch another one. I kept him tight the whole way through. So we've been stuck under this bridge. About 15 minutes now, it's raining out here. I don't know if you can tell. Another big storm's coming. But this is Florida fishing. But uh, we've got some good bites under this, <laughs> under this bridge. And I have caught a bass, a bass under here before, so we'll see what happens. What do you think, Sizzle? Yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, yeah, it's fishing in Florida, so the fish might start biting off the bridge. It started raining, so we'll see. We're gonna wait it out. See, now the theory is, let me get some light on me in case you want to see me. The theory is, we've got storms overhead, uh, so low light conditions, maybe you can even use top waters, but all this rain, you know, pushes, you know, all kinds of animals and salamanders and worms and everything else into the water and off the trees and, and it's probably a real good fishing time, hopefully it triggers these fish. Plus it's a low pressure, so the pressure comes down and it's, you're supposed to be good, should be good fishing, but we'll see. I think we got like one little baby fish to the boat so far. I jumped like a five pounder. I got you to show for it, baby. <laughs> if anybody's wondering, we're still under this bridge like a bunch of trolls. It's been about half an hour so far. And I gotta keep the boat in position, otherwise Darcy yells at me. Right, Sizzle? Not doing his job. <laughs> he said I'm not doing my job. It's a little echoey in here. So uh, we're still fighting this good fight. We fished every inch of this under the bridge. <laughs> so whatever. But uh, anyway, you know, this fishing, being a big chat YouTube fishing girl, it's not all fun and games. A lot of times it's sitting under a bridge like a troll. Production problems. What are you doing, Sizzle? Trying to rig up. I'm freezing cold. This water and weather is cold. So I'm just trying to, I don't know, change up tactics. We're not catching any fish under this bridge. Even though I feel like the rain should help with that, but it seems to be doing the opposite. So I'm putting a little weight on my Gamble Lures little easy swimmer. Hi, got a 
fish, got a fish. Finally, we escaped the uh, bridge. It finally stopped raining literally like after an hour. And I just rigged up a nice little uh, swim bait over here with a little weight to get down deep for these fish. And just steady retrieving it very slow. Little fishy. I want to get a big five pounder like the one Brian broke off, but yeah, I'm gonna release them. I'm now using a different color um, with the Gambler Lures, and this is the Easy Swimmer and the Lunker Candy color. I like Lunker Candy, it sounds awesome. So, just gonna rig it back up, and I've got a little tungsten weight here, and uh, just using that and steady retrieving on the bottom. Pretty cool little area in here. Rochelle and I are still struggling a little bit. Weather's all over the place. She's caught on a dock over here already. How's that dock, Sizzle? It's great. We've never been back here before. It's, it's a little, could be a big old lunker in here. And some of these areas in Florida, you know, it's what you're doing over there. It's, it's uh, just neat, just cool, cool stuff. I mean, you know, you never know. But we're heading out of this little area that we just decided to check out and explore. It's always cool to explore new areas and it's pretty shallow in here and you can actually quite you can see there's a lot of good water clarity to, clarity today so you can see a lot of the fish and stuff on the bottom um, so we're gonna just get out of this area and try to catch a fish and try to get my size a little bigger on those fish because those fish are not even close to like half a pound mm -hmm. so we're doing our best though we're really trying and you know the weather is just whoa whoa <laughs> he's driving all crazy <laughs> jeez I thought Rod was going overboard right that second. But uh, we're trying. You know, the weather's not cooperating with us today. But, um, you know, I don't know what else to say. I guess we're crappy bass fishermen. So maybe if you guys have, like, some tips or some tricks for us, go ahead and comment below and let us know because I think we need all the help we can get right about now. Thank you. I'm super happy right now. Finally catching a fish out there. Not catching a fish for a long time. This guy's fighting hard. Woo! Dig it. Well, I've got a peacock bass on. Saw him on a bed. Let me move over here so you can hear me. Saw him on a bed, and uh, he's gorgeous and lit up. And just threw this bait to him a couple times. I'll show you what I'm throwing. Cast into the bed, trying to stay away from the fish because the fish, you know, is is angry. And a lot of times when you come up close to their beds, they get spooked and they move away. Nice fish. So you can see, I had to actually set the hook on this guy to catch him. So I've got, the, got it right there. A lot of the times these fish, um, you know, like they're not really eating when they're on a bed because they're protecting the bed. But in order to catch them, you know, you just kind of got to get them aggravated enough to where your bait is sitting in their bed enough times where they're going to hit it. So this is what I was using. And this is the Gamber Lures Phantom Chartreuse. And this is the TZ. So this is the smallest bait they make. They just started making it and it's a two and a half inch little soft plastic swim bait. So that's what he hit. And this is a solid fish. Probably close to two pounds. Male, as you can see, the hump on his head is raised. So uh, that hump just lets you know that, you know, that this is a male peacock bass and uh, he is a bedding peacock bass. They are protecting a bed, him and a female. Awesome. All right. I let him go. There he goes. He's just chilling by the boat. Pretty. There he goes. <laughs> Got another fish. Now we're having a good day. Ooh, now we got your fish. Killing it, killing it, guys. Killing it over here. Whoa. All right, All right another bedded up peacock bass. Look at that thing. Beautiful Woo. fish. This guy fights so hard. It's amazing fighting like a five pounder because they really, really fight hard. I honestly think they fight so much harder than a largemouth bass. And they're just so gorgeous, you know? You like can't complain about these fish. Awesome. All right, um, can we get the net, I guess? Want me to get it? Oh, yeah, I'm to grab it. Let's see if this fish is right. Let's get the net, we don't want to lose it. Yeah, we don't want to lose this fish. All right, bring it right to the net, Sizzle. Here we go, here it comes. Woo! These fish are trip savers for us. I'm very happy. Even though it's not like a lunker largemouth bass, I'll take a peacock bass any day. <laughs> awesome. And you can see once again, this fish just got angry enough and I really just had to set the hook on her and uh, got her good right there. So that was not going anywhere. Phantom Chartreuse. If you want to check it out, link in the description. 
This fish is probably about the same size as that first one I just caught. And it's another male, as you can see, the hump on the head. Gorgeous fish. Looks like it's been caught before. It's got this big old hole in its top of his mouth here. But a uh, gorgeous fish. And just imagine this fish like twice or three times bigger. Like they fight that much harder. It's an awesome fish. All right, sweet. This is becoming an awesome day. Go back to his nest. Oh, he's ready. Okay. Jeez, so demanding. <laughs> <It's your hunt. laughs> Got another one. I'm just left and right catching and killing the peacocks here. Woo. This fish is probably the same size as the last two, but you know, they fight just as hard. She's just staying down deep. But I'll take it. Once again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, baby. Let me just get this out. Look at that. Barely hooked. Barely hooked in that little... Actually, she has two holes on the side of her face. But yeah, if you keep that tension, you're going to catch that fish. If you let it go slack, you're not going to catch that fish. Especially with a big, giant hole in her face like that. But this is a female peacock bass. And she's a lot smaller, actually. But uh, that's okay. Females do get just as big as the males, but you can see it's a female because there's no hump. Like uh, I said in the last video too, but just for those of you who don't know, I'm telling you again. Um, but yeah, very beautiful. Probably like a pound. Maybe maybe not that. But still, an awesome peacock. Three peacocks in like 10 minutes. Right, third peacock bass for me. Gonna go ahead and release it. Two males and a female. Pretty sweet. Oh, all right. These fish are very alive today. Awesome. There she goes. Very cool. All right. Well, the guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Today was an epic day of bass fishing. And like I said, if you guys have like any tips or anything that like you think we should know, go ahead and comment that below uh, because like we would like to help other anglers out as well. And we think that maybe you guys could help us too. You know, we're just going to be a community and help each other. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.